The best holiday ever is officially underway at Bloomingdale's, where you'll discover the most exciting and unique gifts around. The kind of presents that you can't wait to give because they're just that good. So no matter whom you're shopping for, even your sister who has practically everything, you'll find hundreds of picks that deliver on the promise of the best holiday ever right now at Bloomingdale's. Hey, pip pip, it's friend. <laughs> oh, pip pip, pip pip. I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Uh, pip pip, pip pip, Brian. Hey, Brian. I like Hallmark Christmas movies. Right, yo. Uh, pip pip, hey, bruv. Hey, bruv. Hey, bruv. Hey, bruv. Gov. Hey, bruv. Gov. Hey, bruv. Gov. Hey, bruv. I'm Dan. Hey, Dan. I despise hey, Christmas Dan. movies. Right on, right on. This is, is the, the Deck the Hallmark, Hallmark podcast. podcast. Jolly good. Deck the Hallmark, it's his podcast. <laughs> host this podcast. We hope you like this jolly podcast. Hey, 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 hey. Hello, everybody. Hey. Welcome oh. to another day, another dollar, another, another dollar. Hallmark Christmas movie. You betcha. It's almost like you're commercializing it or something. I, yes. Not me. You would never. Movie number six. Of this mm. uh, Hallmark Christmas crop. 34 to go. Uh, big, big news. Uh, apparently, guys, did you hear about this? Mm-hmm. Hallmark mm-hmm. signed a deal with Peacock, Peacock. To, ha- to have the Christmas movies on there, but also you're able to to watch Hallmark Channel live within the Peacock app. Wow. Impressive. Which seems to be the, uh, the writing on the wall for Hallmark movies now, Uh-oh. but also could be the answer to uh, what's Hallmark going to do about the death of cable. Your prayers. Peacock yeah. posted a loss of $670 million <laughs> in the last quarter. This should help, though. So, I mean, I don't know if this is a, like, <laughs> sure, yep. yeah. Anything. I don't, we'll think Peacock, I don't think Peacock cares. <laughs> like, NBC, are, like, right? Are, any, NBC are any of those streaming services well, getting, uh, are, are they? Guys <laughs> just smoking stogies going, <laughs> let's lose some money. <laughs> I, what I, do you got? I think Shame that is. Out of platform new episodes <laughs> i think Skip that's literally what people that are in the, 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 the streaming service we had industry Iron eagle episodes put them on there you think that's what they're doing what's that michael yes. landon show put it on a highway to heaven that one yeah let's get them people who want them people love them people everybody, everybody wants, wants them everybody, one, everybody needs, needs one, one. It's your decker. <laughs> it's my decker. Uh, speaking of double decker of the week, we got a double decker of the week at the end of this yeah, episode. So stay tuned for that. Hope um, you're watching these on Philo. I got to be honest; it's yeah. a tough season for me. But with Philo around, the one at the one, the oh one button ad skip, I, the best. I don't know what else to tell you. And uh, yeah, a big announcement for Peacock, but maybe an even bigger announcement coming mm-hmm. in regards to Philo. Maybe, right. maybe a even. bigger, maybe even a bigger pickup than Hallmark maybe Channel. Even. Maybe even so. Uh, keep an eye on that. But mm-hmm. uh, follow TV slash DTH. Get a seven day free trial. Yeah, that's right. Why the heck not? Why, the Why heck wouldn't not? you? Why yeah. the heck not? We got uh, a batch of uh, another batch of movies this weekend. And so that seven-day free trial will get you those. And then that way you can follow along if you've uh, just been listening to these going blind. <laughs> going in blind. <laughs> going in blind, not watching the movies. That's what I would suggest. But, I mean, you know, if you're going to watch That's them. Dan's dream. So, oh, man. Take the lifetime on court. That's my dream job. It's your dream job. <laughs> Have you ever come into the office with the big shades and a cane and just pretend, like, over the weekend you just Stuff. lost your sight? Stuff. <laughs> nothing I can do. <laughs> uh, you guys ready to talk about Jolly Good Christmas? Sure, yo. Absolutely. Absolutely. A movie written, but not directed by uh, our guy. Mm-hmm. Our guy, Ron that's right. Oliver. Ron Oliver, that's right. I almost wanted Ron. to direct it with Ron I almost, said Ron, I almost said Ron Carpenter. Which, uh, <laughs> not your the guy. Apostle? <laughs> the Apostle Ron Man. Carpenter. Not that not Ron. Not, <laughs> not that Ron. Mm. A uh, better Ron than that. Uh, Ronnie wrote this one. Directed, I think it said by our guy Leaf. So uh, lots, of, lots of good folks involved in this one. Uh, Jolly Good Christmas. Originally aired on October. It's going to be a long synopsis. <laughs> Oh my god. October 29th. I got a I got a real good British accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you ready? Right. Yeah. You ready for it? I'm ready. I'm going to hit you close hit your eyes. Really. You're going to think you're blind. In foggy old London. You ready for this? I'm ready. Get to the chopper. <laughs> that was your Arnold. Oh, it goes both ways. Are you having the impression you that could... Arnold's British? No, 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 no. The Arnold doesn't sound okay, anything like that. Give me Arnold and then give me British. They call him choppers in England. Huh? Here's Arnie. Here's Arnie. You ready? Yeah. Ready. 
get to the chopper. Okay, then British, go right. You go right into it. <laughs> All right, you know what? Here we do. Go back to back, and I will guess which one was Arnie and which one was British. I love this play. Back to back. Play. You ready? ready? Go. Get to the chopper. Okay. Get to the chopper. Oh, All right, easy. first one is British. Yeah. Second one's Arnie. Clear as yeah, day. Clearly. See, Clear as day. Clear as day. Them both. Four for two. Sticks to landing. Four for two. Thanks, Wrigley. Thank you. Um, are you guys ready to talk about this one? So ready. October 29th, 2022. We will something like <laughs> this. Bip, bip. Uh, the movie kicks off with uh, simply having a wonderful Christmas time, which I am, by the way. Paul McCartney, they Thanks paid <laughs> they paid for the full rights to that track. Uh, there's scenery of London at Christmas time. I am uh, currently, as I'm watching this, having a hard time controlling myself. <laughs> uh, we see David in the lobby of a hotel. As much information <laughs> as you need to give anyone. <laughs> he uh, bumps into a girl holding a giant oh teddy bear. She's like, oh, jolly good, sorry. Uh, they go on their own way. Uh, David tries to, to get a cab. Can't do that, so he goes to the double-decker bus. Double-decker of the week. Double-decker of the week. <laughs> uh, promptly bumps into that teddy bear girl again. Um, her name is Teddy. Nope. Ah, Angie. Uh, they sit next to each other. They're chatting. She's a professional shopper. Mm. And uh, she thinks that him buying a gift card for his girlfriend as a gift is quitting. He's like, I know what you're doing. You're trying to make me doubt my gift so that I'll hire you. Not happening. He gets to work. His boss is uh, sending him to a big meeting tomorrow. But he's like, oh, man, three-month anniversary. Oh, your daughter and I are dating. Oh, my gosh. What am I going to do? His girlfriend is like, we need to take our relationship to the next level. Really got to go for it this Christmas season. Um, Angie realizes that she must have accidentally switched bags with David. David on uh, on the double decker bus. So because because he she now has the gift card. He has a, a, a necklace of sorts, and uh, so she tracks him down. And he's like, "Oh, so I do think I actually need to hire you because my girlfriend wants to take things to the next level." And she's like, "Okay, but you're gonna have to come with me." Not enough time to do this solo. You're going to have to come with me and help me find something for her. So they go to the store, but uh, bump into his girlfriend. They, like, lie about what's going on there. Um, Then he accidentally shoplifts. They get caught. He hands the thing back. The guy's like, you're going to have to come with me still. They make a run for it, um, and they do a whole thing. It's a lot of fun. Um, He's like, I have to leave. I have a meeting. But then he falls into the river. Um, and so I uh, can't river. make can't make that meet in the river. River, it's a little bit cold. Fill in the river, girl. A little, 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 little nibbly. Um, the river. But uh, Angie hears that that hot shot deal maker that he was going to have a meeting with is going to be at a Christmas party at the landmark. Whoa, at the landmark! I know. And she's like, wow. I think I can get you in. Let's go tonight. And you can try to get meet the guy and tell him what happened with the river. So they get all fancy. He's at a loss for words when he sees her. And uh, they go to the party. They dance. And they see the guy that he needs to talk to. But he also sees his girlfriend. And his girlfriend sees them. She's like, okay, enough is enough. Who's this girl? And he just fesses up. He's like, it's a professional shopper. I wanted to get you a great gift because we're taking our relationship to the next level. And she's like, you know what? I got to process this. I got to process this. So she leaves. <laughs> What's um, she got to do? Got to process this. Got to process. Got to process it. Get pro- you do a little right. process. Yeah, the process. Um, <laughs> his boss walks up and uh, he knows that David missed the meeting. And he says, meet me in my office tomorrow at 10 a.m. shop. That wasn't, talk about that wasn't bad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. You're bad. <laughs> Brian kick rocks. <laughs> Lots of rocks. That was pretty good, though. Thank you. Uh, he meets, uh, he says, uh, me, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. David and Angie go uh, to go home, but the car got towed. They walk uh, to the impound lot, but the impound lot is closed. So they go to their parents' restaurant. Their parents' restaurant is on fire. Kidding. Uh, They do go in. They have a wonderful time. Uh, He meets her parents, and they keep making it very obvious that they think that Angie and David should be together, even though David has a girlfriend. The night is coming to an end, and his keys pop out of his jacket. Now, this is problematic because he said his keys were in his other jacket pocket that was in the car. So he clearly lied just to spend more time with her. 
Mm. Gives her a kiss on the cheek. Feels bad. Says, my bad. And then he says, she says, uh, just a little Christmas spirit. No problem. Bip, bip. That was, was your worst yet? <laughs> You're my worst yet. My worst decision is friend. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, the next day, Angie finds uh, a card uh, with a gift um, and uh, that he left for her at the pair. Oh, I'm sorry. He finds a card yeah. that was just for the parents. More on the other thing later. <laughs> uh, and it's it got a gift card in it. Oh, it says thank you. That's, that's a good use of gift card there. It's like a, hey, I met you. Here's a gift card. I met her. I met her. <laughs> you then, okay? do it, then do a British. <laughs> I met her. And then do it, Arnie. I met her. Yeah. See? I see it. Nuanced. Yeah, nuanced. <laughs> <laughs> nuanced. What you said. Um, so he Those goes. Those nuances can yeah. get, get out of here. Yeah. Yep. Nuance. He uh, goes on a walk with his girlfriend. She's like, I don't think that this is working. You're so focused on your work that you needed a personal shopper to shop for us. I don't think this is happening. We're going to break up. She gives him a gift card. He promptly gives that gift card to some Carol Singers. Say it's Carol Singers. Hi, I'm Carol Singers. (laughs) The worst of the singers, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Janet? Janet Singers is great. Hello. It's Janet Singers. That's the mom. You can tell. Tito? Tito Singers? Tito Singers. <laughs> Hello? Miguel? Miguel Singers? Miguel Singers. <laughs> You're related? Uh, adopted. <laughs> Miguel was uh, adopted. Uh, what? Hip, hip. <laughs> um, so um, he goes to his boss and is like, uh, I have a life. I want a life. You know, life can't be all about work. And if this hotshot dealmaker doesn't understand that, then maybe I'm not the right man for the job. It's at that point in time, the hotshot dealmaker walks up from behind him, clearly listening in, and says, let's hear your pitch. Uh, Then he goes to deliver a gift to Angie. He gives it to a rando uh, to put under their tree inside of the restaurant. Uh, It's Christmas Eve. Uh, She opens the present, and it's a pin that she pointed out liking in the store. I would say a pin is not a Christmas present. It's far worse than a gift card, but that's just my humble opinion. Uh, He's at a Christmas party and his boss finds him to tell him that he got the job. Merry Christmas. Thanks for breaking my daughter's heart. Um, He then uh, walks outside of the party. He realizes that it's almost midnight, so he goes to the bridge because uh, he talked with Angie about how when the clock strikes Big Ben, when Big Ben strikes (laughs) when Big Ben strikes midnight well you go, you make a wish, you throw a little coin in the pond, which comes true. So he goes to make a wish Guess who walks up right next to him to make a wish? Arnie. Yeah. Arnold. <laughs> That's right. What are you wishing for, Arnie? Oh, a sequel. Sequel, sequel to what? My pants. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. It's enough of you today, I think. <laughs> no way. I think we've hit our, our limit. <laughs> um, they make a wish together. She's like, what'd you wish for? Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, wishing. I think we wish for the same thing. And they kiss. Yay. Uh, fast forward one year, and a, sto- a storyline that I missed was that she wanted to be an author, <laughs> and uh, the book is published a year later. Yay! Yay. And that, my friends, was a jolly, jolly good, good Christmas. Christmas. Pip, 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 pip. Hooray. Pip, pip. We did it. Let's take a quick break. We'll come right back. We'll break this movie down with four segments here on Deck the Hallmark. The Hallmark. Man. Pip, 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 back. Uh, we're talking about a jolly good Christmas. Let's break this movie down. Let's start with a hot take. Let's start with you, Brian. Don't blow this. Of course. I this wouldn't. is our British movie of the season. We're going across the pond on this going one. Going across the pond. Yep. All right. Bring it. Now. Bring your hot take with right you. Now? Yes, right now. <laughs> so this one, I was, uh, I was kind of bored by this one a little bit, but... I found myself rooting for them to get together more than any couple in any movie I think I've watched. I was all in on them ending up together. They were great together. The shopping, I shopped like, I mean, I think it was too much shopping is why I got bored without wow. doing anything. Like Too much shopping. I think so. The Not old, enough pra- band practice. Right. Too, too much, much yeah, shopping. Because the they thing. just walked around without actually like buying anything. They were like looking in windows. They were turning around. They were not buying anything. 
Except that, well, they, no, they didn't buy anything from the the the, clip, the guy, the theft, uh-uh. the thief uh, <laughs> with all the watches. Uh, yeah, but the whole time I enjoyed them together. And you pointed out, Brand, they spent basically the whole movie together. That's right. And I didn't realize that until you said it. I'm like, it's no wonder. Like, I'm all in for them. Like, if they didn't end up together cleanly, <laughs> and I would have been pretty bummed out if it was a big fiasco. And it wasn't a big fiasco. It was a pretty clean transition into them being together. And I was uh, I was all in for that. And I was really happy they ended up together. He was, She was a huge cheerleader, and he was... Just cool as a cucumber, and they're per- they're a great couple. So I was really psyched, and I ended up really liking this movie in the end. Wow! Started off boring, then yeah. It came around, yeah. I was kind of I wasn't like you know enthralled, but I was all in on them, and I was happy for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yes, I enjoyed this movie quite a bit. I thought that uh, two of these folks together was dynamite, mm-hmm. and that is good because they it was literally just the two of them for a lot of this movie, uh, which I actually really liked. It was like. This movie, aside from the fast flat flash forward, which I thought was wholly unnecessary, uh, takes place in a 24-hour time period, which uh, basically a 24-hour time period, which is a very short amount of time in a Hallmark universe, uh, like Hallmark's equivalent of a bottle episode, uh, which I loved. I, I really thought that it was a lot of fun, and uh, I thought the two of them were fantastic. Lots of London to behold, which I really enjoyed. And so, yeah, overall, a really good time. It's not going to be at the top of my list. Uh, it's probably My guess would be that by the end of the season, it's probably going to be uh, towards the upper side of middle. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, but, yes, I, I very much did enjoy this movie. Pip, pip, should we go? Dead? Upper side of middle. Upper side of middle. Well, like um, where the whopper lies. I don't feel like we've had like a, like a movie that I'm like, man, this is an all-timer yet, which we're early. We're six movies in. <laughs> All timer um, in a good or a bad way. Good way. Okay, but I feel like the the collective bar for like dumpster fire is a lot higher. Like all of these movies reach a status to where they're not just like really terrible this year. Like there there hasn't been just a colossal waste of time. I mean the the one that we the can't, sat the, 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 Azzy, What one was that? That was a tough <laughs> tough sled. We need a little slog. Christmas. Yeah, but like yeah. it qualitatively it wasn't down there. And so right. this is tough because. These two, is it Reshma Shetty, I believe her name yeah, is? Yes. Reshma Shetty and uh, Will Kemp, their chemistry is off the charts. And the idea of this movie is a good idea of them kind of going around a very Christmassy, scenic, mm-hmm. on location, not a lot of effects in this movie. Uh, and so that's good. It is. It does kind of get bogged down in parts um and then there's this this giant albatross hanging around the movie's neck which is why can't will kemp just be british in this movie like yeah. what about the movie says you have to have an american lead and i guess for some people it wasn't distracting for us at least for me it was very distracting and so chemistry great idea great gets a little boring at parts and then will kemp doing a he sounds inebriated in the movie and if he would have just been british and we have two british people falling in love the movie elevates itself even further um so i don't know how to rank this i i appreciate what hallmark did with cozy christmas in this one probably has better chemistry between the leads and a and a higher risk factor than any other one uh and so you think it's gonna end up upper side of middle I think it might be number one for me right now. Oh wow! Really? There's not been any that I'm super excited about now. My like my pick for the year that wasn't a Three Wise Men and a Baby was uh, Ghost of Christmas Always, yep. which aired on Sunday. We're going to watch it. We've not watched it yet, so I honestly don't have a take on that one yet. But so far through six, none of them have really spoken to me strongly but this one the degree of difficulty is high to be in london 24 hours them together the whole time and they're not dating and he's with somebody else Mm -hmm. very high degree of difficulty chemistry great showing me london great why can't you just speak with your normal accent like i don't know i just don't get it like we don't get anything from that if it's important that he's american for some reason i'd love to know maybe it's because he doesn't know london as well i don't know like i don't know why he needs to be american that was also 
was part of it, but that was like a, such a small part of it that he wasn't familiar with all the places. That was like one of the reasons I think he gave for needing a shopper. Like I don't he know. He could everything. be from anywhere, not yeah, London. Anywhere, yeah, exactly. He could be from the, the countryside. Give me a name yeah. of a British town. Uh, Tannenbaum. Tannen. He, he could be, from, be Tannenbaum. from Tannenbaum. Never been to the big city before. That's not hard. Yep. I, I don't. I don't understand why we have to do this. And that really took away from it. So I don't know. I don't know. I got a lot of thoughts. Uh, thoughts to you say. Gotta pray. Go to gotta pray. Gotta go to the war closet. room. Gotta go to the war room. Gotta go to the war room. Um, but chemistry off the charts. Yeah. Fun idea for a movie. Fun idea outside of the box. Fun. Love the idea. Uh, let's talk about the feels, if you don't mind. Uh, we've got to talk about what in this movie gave us those Christmas feels. Mm -hmm. Bry? So when when he got his gift from Char, yep. she gave him a card. He opened it up. It was a gift card, of sure. course. Yep. And then he tossed that right into the, the donation bin for, what was it, a band or something? Somebody on the corner there. I was I, I really enjoyed that part. I really liked that move. Like I, I was like, that's a baller move. It's a move. You take that, you chuck it right in there. and Chuck then it right that, in there. That's great. What a cool move. And I was psyched for that. I was like, man, I hope I get a few gift cards I can throw into a donation bin. Just flick it right in. Uh, and the other one was... You would never. Oh, no, you're right. <laughs> uh, maybe. As long as there's a big crowd to see me do it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, of and course. then him getting busted at the party with uh, with her by Char. I thought that was really cool. Like, that, he handled that well. That was real neat. Yeah. How that happened. He got, it was so awkward, but he came... He, like, confessed what was going you know on. What? Which, Let's just be up, right, up front. Up front here. So, that was... I had feels for that. Not really... Those aren't really Christmas feels, but uh, the gift card was a Christmas feel, I would say. I um, really liked the... Um, <laughs> Not really Christmas feels, but the gift card was a Christmas feel, I I, I really liked the... <laughs> <You> say so. <laughs> if I would say, if I had to classify yeah. it as a certain type of feel, yeah. it, it would be a Christmas feel. I'd put it scale. in that category. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I really liked the chase scene with the play. Granted, it was not necessary, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was actually really fun the way that they did it, how they came and there's like a, uh, you know, a random Christmas race mm -hmm. uh, going on that they like put the sky like it. And then after that happens, he moves to the violin. He like pays somebody to let him use the violin to blend in. I thought it was all really fun. It was a really fun uh, thing that we, we, we don't get a lot of chase scenes in a uh, Hallmark Christmas movie, so I thought that was really fun and uh, added a, a, a fun dynamic to, uh, to the, the movie, uh, Dan. Yeah, the London Christmas stuff was great. Early in this movie, uh, she says, well, you're in London, and we pretty much invented Christmas. And I initially took umbrage to that statement like what do you mean but if you look it up like some of these traditions of like mm -hmm, christmas yeah. market christmas trees that kind of stuff like london is kind of the birthplace for that and so i appreciated getting to see them do that and i felt like you know they did it pretty well i yeah. mean it was a, it was cool to see all of that stuff going on uh in london i thought that was neat um, let's take one more break and we'll yeah. come back and we'll talk about the wait what's the what the hallmarks the double decker of the week still so much to wow. do today wow. on a Wednesday we'll be, we'll be right back here on deck the hallmark on WTLO Microsoft Jello. office I'm not you say Jello? Yes, the company. The <laughs> and you started with Jello, but switched, uh, switched to, to trots. To trots, yeah, just trots right along. Trots. I don't know why we are months into this. I don't know why <laughs> you guys don't let me just do it. I think you got the IT guy script. <laughs> yeah, Microsoft <laughs> Office. I don't even know that was still a thing. First of all, second of all. Trace sends us specific instructions. Just don't. Sometimes she signs it as brand. Do you know how many? Sometimes the yeah. last week we got one that said brand. Yeah. Yeah. Merry we Christmas. Say this brand. together, all caps, brand. Literally almost every email you get from Trace, you ignore. But for some reason. These are important. These are important. Yeah. I, we don't lose. We don't get the money. I mean, imagine the risk if we if we mess up. Right. We don't do it, and we yes. Yeah, so imagine the risk if we mess up. If we but don't why do it. is she signing it, Bran, and sending me yeah. Microsoft <laughs> Office and Brian Trotz? So Dan, yours was meant for yeah. Daryl, mm -hmm. who's doing our updates on computers. <laughs> yeah, okay. he that asked me sense. what's the latest um, operating system that I have. And you, you that's office. the best I could figure out from what I had. Uh, uh, Brian, yeah. yours was meant, uh, I do a fun email back and forth with my cousin Jules. Yeah. We do words that rhyme. Okay. And today's word was um, uh, mm -hmm. something that rhymes with trots. I don't remember. Slots. Yes. Bots. Could have been. 
So I, I sent Trot. Okay. That was meant okay. for her. Right. Not. So that was a mistake. Brandon was, was correct mistake. with Pot. Jello. Brandon was correct with Jello. Cot. Yes. Not. Lot. Could have been. Not. I went with Trots. Snot. Snot. That so does, many. That does bring something up. I did want to ask you guys a question. Have you guys signed up for your turkey trot race yet? No. For the season. What are you talking okay. about? <laughs> All right. Have you? I haven't yet. I haven't picked up My wife one actually yet. runs it in every year. Yeah. I'm not surprised by that. The yeah. Thanksgiving morning yeah, 5K. Yeah, you, you do like a mile or a 5K. I kn- or I'm, I'm familiar with yeah. it. Yeah. Downtown on the main street. And the reason why I'm not doing it is because I am it familiar a, with it. It is a, yeah, that Greenville tradition, and it people is. do love it. I... I don't even wake up for it. She used, usually one year she took the boys in the stroller and did. Oh, that's great. It. And uh, yeah, I we I've, I've not done it, but Sarah does it every year. Yeah, I uh, would be more inclined to do the talkie tr- the turkey the talkie, talkie, talkie tr- talking tr- tr- Come on, yep. can we do a run uh, for not- talkies like Fuego Chili oh, Lime yeah. talkie? <laughs> now trot. I'm in for the talkie trot. I would do. When a, is that? I would do a turkey <laughs> trot if it was. You know, when I think of trot, I think of a leisurely walk. Yeah. Uh, if it was that. a walk yeah. with turkey. If it was what like it sounds in. like. You you want to walk at, like and walk a turkey on a leash no. or eat a turkey? Both. Eating you, a turkey you leg. You would walk a turkey on a leash and eat a turkey Ooh. leg at the same time? I actually wouldn't be able You're to do that. Monst- You're a monster. I wouldn't be able to do that. You're a monster, sir. I wouldn't be able to do that. Um, let's talk about the Wait What's. Brian, let's start with you. What stuck out to you as a Wait What here in this movie? Really good Christmas. It's going to be hard to rain, rain me back in after Talkie Trot because that's yeah. all I'm talking Talkie Trot is. Yeah, I'm here. Great. Trace, write that one down. That is hey. good. <laughs> we'll never hear that again. No. What do you want me to write it on? Yep. Um, just, yeah, <laughs> Microsoft, Microsoft Office. Microsoft Office. Yeah, yeah. Office, if it's updated. So uh, if you're carrying an oversized stuffed animal, yeah. like you don't carry that in front of you, right? Like you carry that on your back. You can sling that over sling your shoulder. Sling it on your side. Something yeah, yeah, other yeah. than holding it r- directly in front of your Where you face. you can't see. It, you can't see a thing. And yeah, I yeah, even yeah. captured that scene and slowed it way down. I took a little video yeah. to see. Is she at, yeah, yeah. I, so I'll, I'll post that on maybe on the socials to, for everybody <laughs> You'll to see. You'll post her walking in slow motion with a bear. Yeah. Because right. I was trying to find out who was at fault. At Hallmark Podcast, yes. I said they can get yeah, we'll that content. That wow. Man. Who was at fault? It, We're giving that away for free. Yeah, huh? That's free. It's unbelievable. That's just a teaser. There's more if you join Brimble If Jones. No, you know what Fox. we're going to do? Sign up today if you haven't already. Deck the Hallmark.com slash newsletter. This is a great yep. idea. Sign yeah. up for the newsletter, and Brian will personally send you a file. Yep. You click on that file, and it is a slow motion clip. That's right. Of her, of carrying, her a carrying a bear. But you gotta have Microsoft Office. You're gonna have to have that to open it. Get that open, yeah. Um, Windows Media Player. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he was shopping with her, and he just didn't have time for that. I, they just didn't really cover. I mean, they kind of said though he'll get back in time. We'll get you back in time. But I didn't. He shouldn't have been out shopping with her that whole time. <laughs> You know, <laughs> so you had a problem. You had a problem with a primary a plot wait, point. Oh, wait, yeah, of this, this movie. is more of a guy that never misses a meeting. Worried about a guy I, missing it, a meeting. It gave me a little anxiety. <laughs> the fact that meeting was looming, and she's just so nonchalant. Like she is a freelancer. Like she doesn't deal with having a schedule she has to keep. She can shop whenever. In college, do you ever skip a class? Um. Rarely, like rarely. <laughs> I didn't like to. I didn't like to. I, yep. you know, sometimes. But then it's just the, the thought of all the makeup, the work that you yeah. could miss. I just hate. I dreaded it. So yeah. I was the one in our apartment who would. I was like the designated. Oh, Brian will go to class today. Yeah, that checks. Person. And that I, checks. You know, yep. So I would do. I would do all the coverage. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so that was that was kind of it. And then Char just giving a gift card after saying it was going to be special was. I was just like, huh. Okay, I see where we're at here. So he was right. He was right on he the money. Right on. Right. Yeah. Right on the, the money. gift card. Yep. Don't uh, don't doubt yourself. If you think you have the right gift, don't doubt it. That's even right. if it's a gift card. Um, I only have a couple. Uh, one, um, he's at his uh, friend's house. He's borrowing a tux. <laughs> perfect. Uh, fit. Perfect fit, uh, which they do explain, and they I appreciate that. It. Yep. Um, but. There's a knock on the door. Um, his uh, friend's husband is like, uh, "All right, she, she's here," and he goes to walk around the corner, and he just, for some reason, uh, David says, "Ethan, it's tricky business," and it stopped dead in his tracks. Why was he getting ready to say that? <laughs> it's tricky business. <laughs> yeah, it's just tricky business. That's gonna keep you wow. up at night. <laughs> What's tricky wow. business? Wow, what is tricky business? It's tricky business. I do know it is. I just don't know what it is. Um, and then he, he gets back to his apartment, plugs in his phone, 
clicks on a voicemail and promptly goes over to his table where he has a large container of still glass water that's been sitting there all day, all day man. and all night, man. Do so you think that's weird? And he put, yeah. See, I you like, keep, I like room temperature water. You just leave that sucker just yeah. sitting there marinating yeah. all day long. Just, water, it's, first, it's not marinating. And anything just get this guy a Kit Kat. It's marinating in all the, all the, the, the dust. The lump yeah, of the light. Dude, that's how you stay healthy. You 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 ingest. That's like you know leaving the window. No, open a you know bit. what? I'm going to stop you right there. This Where? is not that type of show. <laughs> this is not that type of show. We you can see a credit card a week, Brian. <laughs> we can't afford this. Can't just drift it in the water. Oh, he didn't have like he didn't even have a cover on that thing. He didn't have a cover on that. Need it? What's, then clean your apartment. Your flat. You're flat. <laughs> clean your flat. flat. I'm just saying, if given Man, the option dude. between literally any other water and, and water. water on the... Give me water out of the tap over water that's been sitting out all day. Uncovered? Oh, uncovered? Dirty pipes? Ugh. Dude, uncovered water? Dirty yeah. pipes? No. It's good for the germs? <laughs> that's Jeez. not that kind of show, I thought. Uh, I thought not we couldn't. In, you know, here in Greenville, the water's the best in the country, Best Brock. in the country. So not a problem. I don't know. Maybe London has great water. Well, obviously not, because yeah. you drink it off the table. Drink it right off the right. table. Off it's been sitting there all the day long. Yep. Dan? Um... She says early in this movie that a perfect gift, she even has a Venn diagram, a perfect gift Beautiful is where diagram. need and want and love all intersect. Right. Beautiful. Aside from the fact that I would submit to you that sometimes the best gifts are the ones that you don't need at all. Like, I, I'm just telling you right now, some of my favorite gifts have been like golf stuff. Mm. I never need golf stuff. Do I want it all the time? Yeah. Absolutely. Do I love it? Yes. Do I need it? No. I, I don't. I don't need it. I, I think that that is, you know, a little bit of an overstatement by, on 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 her end and on the movies end. They are shopping and then they try to leave quickly when they see uh, his girlfriend and she stops them. And then his girlfriend and his mom, instead of them going up the stairs to her. She goes down the stairs and the four of them are standing in the stairway effectively blocking the entire stairway during the middle of the day while people are trying to walk up and down these stairs. It was driving me bonkers. Move over to a side, get off the staircase, something that people are trying to get places, guys. World doesn't revolve around you. Like, let, let's get it. Let's, let's, do, let's get you know. it. They, uh, they sneak into this party that has a champagne tower, which is awesome. Aside from the fact that that champagne, champagne is all flat. He is <laughs> pouring champagne, no bubbles, no fizz, no nothing. Pretty disgusting. Um, was it not weird to anybody else that this girl's mom continues to push her to chase after a dude that is dating someone else? Man, that's to, that's Garland. That's for you. Garland for that's, you. Uh, that's just what you do. I like that's what, what you do yeah. when yeah, yeah when you see yeah. your kid and just, they're yeah. clearly yeah. meant to be with this person, you just you just say you, go break up another couple. One hundred percent. Wow, one hundred percent. You do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think so. One hundred percent. Disagree there. One hundred percent. He's cultural differences. Will, Will Kemp's character says the whole time he was with his parents. I assume that means his entire childhood. No, they're, they got, uh, I thought they said they split. Yeah, but what, what age? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, The Some whole age. time he was with his parents, he never saw them kiss each other. Not yeah, once. That's sad. Yeah, that's tough. That is impressive. Yeah. Like, there was just never a single good time. <laughs> like, the whole time they yeah. were. Maybe they had a handshake instead. That is just. Man, Secret handshake. Hello? That's something. Husband? And then lastly, and I've been trying to, this has been just stuck in my brain, and I can't get rid of it. Uh, when he confronts his girlfriend and says, I hired a shopper, blah, blah, blah. Her response to that I, is, if you're telling the truth, I'm going to need a moment to process <laughs> this. But if you're not telling the truth, we're going to need to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are those not the same thing? <laughs> one one <laughs> is going to result in a conversation later than right now. Right. If you're lying, we're going to talk he, about it right now. She's not going to talk about it now. If I find out you're lying, we're going to need to talk about it. If I find out you're telling the truth, I'm going to need to think about it. I'd say, either, I'd say either way you should process it. Probably. Yeah. Definitely. Probably. Process it. Process. Definitely. The process. Yeah. Trust I don't have a problem with room temperature bottled water. 
I don't have a different, problem. Just completely it's different. covered. It's sealed. Completely know. different. That's fine. I'll, I'll drink that I, all day. I, I don't mind that at all. I don't like water that has been poured into a, a pitcher. A pitcher. Yep. And that without pitcher, a lid. Without a lid. And that pitcher has been sitting out for, for God knows hours? how long. Well, you take no the first way. sip, you spit it out. Is what you take a sip, you spit it to get rid you of the You swish it to stuff. get those germs all yeah, around your teeth yeah. first? Yeah, and then you drink. So, so you think the the all of the dust and stuff yeah, right settles on the, sits top. on the top, and when you pour it... It's heavier than the water. Right? It's lighter, good. So it Got rises. it. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. All right, Panda. Especially over those there. germs on the <laughs> slide right, right off. Uh, it's time for What the Hallmark is where we talk about uh, when this movie we're still wondering about that we would like some answers to. <laughs> some answers. <laughs> some answers. I need some answers. I need some answers need right now, now Blarney's... Uh, uh, Bry guy. So he had uh, a Christmas list gift list app that he was using, uh-huh. and on it, which for, I think is a great idea. I'm sure there are gift apps. I've never. I usually just start a document, obviously. Yeah, and I have everyone's name, and I write my ideas all most of the year. I usually start it around July, that and checks. I start writing ideas that I have for people. Um, and uh, he has this gift app, but his gifts are. Oh, great. You got a picture. Yeah, I got a picture. You're going to send um, this out if uh, Dekton Hall.com newsletter? Did you bake the picture? Join, did, did you record the this. whole movie? <laughs> <laughs> pirate. If you want this movie, just say the word. Dekton slash newsletter. He a home theater. He projected it on a big screen, and then he bootlegged it. <laughs> what you don't know is Peacock is actually it's just Dekton slash newsletter. Yeah, me and my bedroom in my living room. If anybody in my family makes a noise, I have to stop the movie. Start over. Delete the It's report. a mess. It's, yeah. it's a, yeah, not yeah, a good yeah, yeah, system. Whole thing. But, so yep. he, uh, on his list. He's buying one gift per person. Great. Rory gets a candle. Ethan oh. gets a box of chocolates. Sarah gets a holiday. I don't know which holiday. Or it's a ho- it's British for vacation. So Sarah gets a vacation from him. Yes. Okay. He's giving her a vacation, a trip. Simon gets a bottle of wine. Jay Christmas socks. Charlotte question mark. Daniel gets a gift card. Then a scarf. A bo- so everybody gets one gift. And then so wait, someone else is going to get a gift somebody card. Somebody else is getting a gift card. Yeah. Daniel, whoever Daniel is. So he is. should have held on to that gift card that he got. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Or he could have, yeah, he could have just handed that right off. But his, he's very unimaginative with his gifts yes. in general. Which is why he needs a shopper. That's yeah. why he needs a shopper. So he should, so even though Char is gone. Although obviously. vacation's not a bad gift. A holiday is a really nice yeah. gift. holiday. But who is, I mean, Sarah, who holiday. is Sarah getting this? I mean, that's the real question. Ooh, so yeah. something's going on here, I think. But uh, so I'm just wondering what's up with this app. Uh, why, why is he such a why bad gift Why is he giver? using the terminology holiday instead of vacation if he's married? Right, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. yeah, yeah. yeah. It that's is. a problem. We got you. We, we, did. Got, we you. got you. Busted. You didn't think we'd you get you. Are the accent was solid. We knew but, it. Yep. You didn't think we'd freaking get you. We got you. And then the only other question I had was she she's doing all her gift stuff like uh, you know in her head. She has yeah. a process. A uh, process. She could... She could automate this and scale it up where she puts her form online. People answer some questions. She's just sitting there doing a one-on-one interview, answering, going through these questions. Like, just throw it online. Make a Google form and have people fill out these questions, answer these questions. There and you then, go. you know, it takes that, that pro- step away and you can actually, you know, scale up and make some money. There you go. Um, mine is, and maybe they explained it, but her parents, um, when they find out that he doesn't have his keys... Say, you can stay here at the restaurant. We have a beautiful guest room right up there. For how when? How often is someone staying at the guest room above Above the the restaurant? restaurant. For VIP restaurant. What is that? That sounds like HR should get involved. Yeah, probably. (laughs) That sounds problematic. Uh, Yeah. Sounds problematic. Dan? Fair. Um, so I just want to know all movie long. The effects in this movie are really good, and I think it's because they're using pretty practical effects. I think for a lot of it, they're really on the bus, they're really on the car. If they're not, then the effects are dynamite. I want to know what happened where the effects coordinator or supervisor quit before the throw the coin in the water scene. <laughs> because if you look, it they're fake coins. It is like a fully digitized mess of a scene, and I just don't... like. Everything else in this movie, from an effect standpoint, is so precise that it sticks out like a sore thumb. And so, I just, that, that was my big question. That's all I got. Uh, it's time for the double decker of the week. Yeah, uh, is. Panda's here. We're going to clear the set. On the line. Uh, Panda, Panda, take it away, pal. Double decker of the week. 
Oh, thanks, guys. Panda, you're oh, here. Man. Hey, guys, Drop it's right been back a in. moment. It has been a moment. Man, how about that week off you took? Do you feel Christmas in the air? Oh, man, it's crisp. You said you were going to watch all the Wind Calls the Heart. What was your favorite one so far? Oh, the one with uh, the the, uh, the the Elizabeth and... Uh, Lizzo. Yeah, yeah, Lizzo was in an episode. Yeah, it was great. Uh, she, says, she turns up as the town flautist. Which is wonderful. I mean, yeah, I it think it's great. more flute. More yeah. flute. In a minute, I'm going to need a Mountie to come and pump me up. All right. Okay. Uh, it's a little working, bit off. We're still off, working yeah. on that. Uh, Double Decker of the Week. Uh, it's where we do a deep dive. And by we, I mean Panda does a deep dive mm-hmm. into the life of one of the Double Deckers. And if you would like your story told, just sign up for Brainwell Gen Plus, BrainwellGenPlus.com. Dan, who do we have? Lori Anderson. Whoa. Whoa. Lori Anderson. Whoa, okay, okay. I know. You already knew this. Yeah, I, I know, but clear. I get excited. It's okay. Just, you bring it out and you're just flouting it. That's right. Fla- Floutist is flouting it. I don't think you flouting things. You're fl- I'm you can flout things. Yes. So you're flouting it. I you're see what you're saying. Yeah. it. Why are Hit you it. holding the flute Hit like it. it? Like your <laughs> shoulder is playing it? Because I'm flouting it. Okay. I'm flouting Great. my stuff. What did Lori do, Panda? Uh, oh, well, I'm glad you asked, uh, Dan, because it's it's kind of a big deal. Uh, she's uh, she's in a new TV show, guys. Ooh. Uh, and uh, we have an actor among us. An actor among us. It is, it's actually more of a reality show, so there's not a lot of acting. I mean, there's, I mean, okay. captivating So she, when you say she stars in a new TV show, she's playing herself. Yeah, she is. She, okay. she is, and it's exciting because she is, in fact, a, a ghost hunter in this. Wow. Which is exciting. Man, we did a ghost show. You and I did. <laughs> we did. I don't remember. Daniel. But this is, I will say, this is very different than what Can we Can you did. hear the ghosts? Uh, Can the audience hear the ghosts? Well, well we could hear the, the ghosts. Audience, yeah, we could time. hear I the ghosts. I just want to be clear. The, the, audience, the audience couldn't hear the ghosts. With Lori's show. Uh, it's, yes, it's a little different though. She, she goes after, um, it's not of the human realm. I, I would say it's more it of. It's not of the human realm. Well, she deals more with uh, ghost chickens. And stuff. What's the name of this show? What do you show? mean and stuff? What's the name of this show, first of all? Uh, the She's the, the pult- poultry guys. <laughs> poultry guys, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should have seen that coming. Should have seen that coming. That's the good. Poultry guys. Yeah. That's good. That's a great... How, how has that name not been taken? Um, and... She's not the poultry geist, though. She finds poultry geists. Yes, that's absolutely okay. Great. She's the hunter of them. Yeah, she's right. a hunter of poultry geists. Right. Yes, that's clap. A- Boom, boom. We're here in the Delaney's farm. I'm with... Hey, Lori. Yes. Why do you sound like an old witch? Well, because... We've met you. You're normal. Okay. Listen, <laughs> we're here at the Delaney's farm. Let's see what we can pick up. Did you hear that? I did. I heard a bagot. If there's that's another bagot. If there's Lori, any, that's two bagots. If there's any chickens here with us, say two bagots. Two bagots. Oh, oh, there's a chicken. It's a poultry guy. Man, All right, well, well, and they is, say the name of the show in every episode. That's yes, that, is which is wild. Who's that, that with Lori? Who was that? Who was with Lori there? Oh, you that's, her, that's like, her, her best friend, uh, Bonky. Bonky. <laughs> yeah. Lori yeah, and Bonky yeah. coming to a farm near <laughs> you. Lori and Bonky and poultry guys. Uh, congratulations, nice, Lori. That show sounds fantastic. Sounds fantastic. You want to kick it back to the guys in Let's the studio? Let's do it. Back to you, boys. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Oh man, what a oh, time. what a great, what a great yeah. one. Uh, he'll be back next week with another one. He comes and he goes so quickly. When we put the fall stuff back up. It's, it's a, it is it's beautiful. Happens, yeah. uh, we're work. back tomorrow with another episode. Hold off on the warm milk until <laughs> then. May we the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the homework is the That Sounds Fun podcast. It's produced by Tracy Noah's name. It's recorded live in Yeah That Greenville, South Carolina. For more information on Deck the Homework, you can go to deckthehomework.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, thanks so much for your support.
The best holiday ever is officially underway at Bloomingdale's, where you'll discover the most exciting and unique gifts around. The kind of presents that you can't wait to give because they're just that good. So no matter whom you're shopping for, even your sister who has practically everything, you'll find hundreds of picks that deliver on the promise of the best holiday ever right now at Bloomingdale's.